<laughs> Take a look at Nancy Pelosi's face when President Trump announced that he's going to be adding 10,000 new ICE agents, immigration and custom enforcement agents, in order to solve the massive illegal alien problem in this country. <laughs> Something wrong, Nancy! I mean, look at her. If this isn't a walking corpse, I don't know what is. Yes, the Democrats are furious that we're going to make America great again and listen to them literally moan after President Trump announced a special task force to investigate crimes committed by illegal aliens. He's calling it VOICE, the Victims of Immigration Crime Engagement. And we must support the victims of crime. I have ordered the Department of Homeland Security to create an office to serve American victims. The office is called VOICE, Victims of Immigration Crime Engagement. We are providing a voice to those who have been ignored. Now, that was from the official White House feed, so you couldn't really hear it all that well, but have a listen to the CNN feed. And we must support the victims of crime. I have ordered the Department of Homeland Security to create an office to serve American victims. The office is called VOICE, Victims of Immigration Crime Engagement. We are providing a voice oh, to those who have been don't investigate crimes from illegal aliens, Mr. Trump. Look at this insane article from Raw Story. This is how genocides begin. The internet is stunned by Trump's plan to set up voice program targeting immigrants. I'm uh, sorry, it's targeting criminals! Joy Reid, a lunatic from MSNBC, calls it a Gotham City-esque agency. This Tom says it's sinister, it's sinister now to investigate crimes committed by people who aren't even supposed to be in the country to begin with. This MSNBC contributor calls it racist propaganda and how genocides begin. Yes, it's gonna start a genocide. You are now entering a new dimension, not only of sight and sound, but of mindlessness, where liberals believe that investigating crimes committed by illegal aliens is genocide. You are now entering the liberal zone. But you know what? He's not going to be president. He is not, Donald Trump is not going to be president of the United States. Take it to the bank. Okay. I guarantee it. All right. All right. In no part of your mind or brain can you imagine Donald Trump standing up one day and delivering a State of the Union address? Well, I can imagine it uh, in a Saturday night skit. Members of Congress, I have the high privilege and the distinct honor of presenting to you the President of the United States. Thank you very much.